Hello. Hey everybody, it's so nice to meet you. Nice okay, to meet you to too. Meet you. Well, I am so excited to talk to you about this. And John, I want to start with you. What approach did you want to take with this season with Fraggle Rock? Well, I think that we really saw the reaction to the first season, the love that the people who grew up with the original series had and the new families that were discovering it. And we were like, okay, our job is to do two things. One is to make the second season even more epic, even more exciting, even more full of the Fraggle magic that we all know and love. And then the second part is really to address these two big issues that when we reached out to families to find out what they were concerned about, uh, which were climate change and food insecurity, to make sure that we really address them, as we've been saying, in a very fun, fraggly, silly way that makes it accessible to everybody. Um, but I think that was our; th those were our two kind of missions this yeah. year, really. And Hallie, uh, why do you think Fraggle Rock has endured all these years? Oh, I think it's the joy, the playfulness. Uh, Fraggle Rock, we've kept the same DNA that Jim Henson inspired in the beginning, but I just think it's so funny, and I think we all want to believe in the magic. I know as a little girl, I wanted to believe that behind that hole in the wall, I could go down and find this magical world of Fraggles, and I still wish for that. You can. At age 54. <laughs> so I think that that's the endurance, and just really, really strong, beautiful characters that you just want to play with every day, kids and adults. And Matt, there's so much music in this season. Are there any that you that are your favorites that you can talk about? Oh man, there's so much good music this season. I mean, Adam Lambert does a uh, duet with, with Doc up in her workshop and it's a reimagining of this legacy song that Harvey Mason Jr. and his team uh, reorchestrated. That's, that's such a good song. Uh, the K-pop band Espa, we went to Seoul and did Uncle Traveling Matt, did a, did a music video with them. Uh, Ariana DeBose plays this great character. Mezzo, who's this sort of pop star in Fraggle Rock. Uh, Brett Goldstein, Catherine O'Hara, they, they do a couple songs too. It's just a stellar uh, season of music. And John, why do you think Jim Henson's creatures feel so tangible and real? Oh gosh, I think because they're, they're not one dimensional. You know, they feel like real people because I think Jim let his performers and let the writers and let the creators of all the shows he worked on collaborate together to make these characters feel like real people. And, you know, I think that's the joy in performing them is that you're not stuck with one energy all the time you have to play. You know, I can speak as Gobo. It's like he's got these traits that he's known for, but there's all these other pieces to him. And I would say that's true for all of us, right? Like, you know, we have our side that we put out to the world and then we have our other side. Then we have our side we are with our family and our side we are with our best friend. And these characters are allowed to have their faults and they're allowed to have their, their joys and their sadness. And um, I just think that, that if you look at every character Jim Henson created or was a part of, they, are, they all share that in common, I think. They just have so many different layers. And Hallie, final question. What do you hope that kids and viewers are taking away from this season, aside from just being entertained? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, definitely the things that we talked about earlier when we were saying that, you know, we leaned into wanting to discuss climate change and food insecurity, pretty heavy topics, but we feel like we delivered messaging around that of what you can go away and like take back with you, which is like hope, climate hope. It's collaborating with one another when there's big problems and the problem solving and sticking with your family and group of friends um, through the tough times. So I feel like there was all kinds of good like messaging that came through um, trying to tackle these big issues that I'm really hoping kids and families can take away with and feel like it'll make their lives better. Well, and it's such a great season. Next season, please tackle inflation. We, that would be, <laughs> no <laughs> thank you kidding. again so much. Yes. It's so good to meet you guys. The fraggle good version idea. of that. That's, yeah. a, that's the fraggle version of that. All right.